Hello lovely people, Kirsten here. I've set myself the challenge of creating and posting a series of 10 short videos. And it's going to be a series of five minute long videos around the theme of how to not only survive, but how to hopefully thrive in our relationships. And every short video will shine some light on one particular aspect that I've considered over the years uh, in relation to my relationships that I've thought about and explored and practiced. And I hope that you find these sort of uh, different elements that I'll explore with you helpful too. And just to say, it's by no means a to-do list how to do good relationships. That's far too complex, of course. But just really highlighting some elements you know, that I think are universal and that we can develop and practice. So, and today, the theme is, or the aspect I wanted to highlight, is listening. I'd like to highlight that listening can be a healing power, a healing force. And listening is also a deep act of love when it's done well. Another important element about the healing power of listening and the act of love, it's that we can direct both of these forces or energies towards ourselves, towards our own heart, as in listening to our own feelings. And of course, we can direct it to each other in our relationships. And I'd like to um, illustrate this with an example that includes my daughter, a friend and myself. So I give you a little bit of context. My daughter is a young teenage girl. She's got her first boyfriend. She has made a um, range of new friends, and which is all very positive in a new school. And but there was a kind of a disconnect between her, between us a few months ago, <clears throat> where we just felt constantly angry with each other. I felt she was kicking all my boundaries. I felt she was constantly triggering me. And I felt pushed around and dismissed and angry and pushed away. And she, I think, was very displeased with me as well. She thought I was utterly unreasonable. And, and we spent quite a lot of time, uh, too much time arguing, um shouting at times and really not liking each other very much. And whilst I, as a mother and as a psychologist, understand very well that these movements away from you know, the mother in a way are natural, are necessary. Uh, anger has to be part of the mix. Kicking the boundaries is part of the process. But I felt there was nevertheless something not okay, an element that wasn't good in the process because it felt, it didn't feel fruitful. It felt we're going around circles and kind of hurting each other. And I wanted to take responsibility and understand my part in this better. So I extended the act of love to listening to myself. I thought I need to take some time and reflect on this. And over a few weeks, I went for walks. I kind of contemplated this. And I, my heart was telling me two things. First thing, I was deeply pleased that my daughter has the capacity to make deep and good relationships that are supportive. I'm delighted that my mothering has allowed her to connect deeply and to connect well. 
And I've felt deep gratitude for that. And I still feel that. That's an ongoing uh, feeling. Yet, there was another part of me which I heard through the uh, introspective listening. This part was my young, my young teenage girl. And she was feeling angry. She was feeling rejected. She was feeling jealous. She also was feeling envious, abandoned and angry. And I felt quite overwhelmed by having these feelings. But equally, I felt pleased I'd identified and found them. So from that act of love that I directed towards me, the act of listening, the loving act of listening, I got some really good information. And I felt vulnerable. I felt vulnerable with these kind of opposing forces within me. So I spoke with a very good friend of mine and I shared with her my struggles, in my envy, my anger with my daughter, my jealousy, but also my gratitude. And my friend extended such a beautiful way of listening to me, uh, which had, it felt like she was shining the sun onto me. It was warm, it was, she was listening to me, to me in a way and speaking to me in a way that I understood my feelings even more afterwards. And I felt she was actually not judging me at all, but the opposite. She was valuing my capacity to be honest with myself and to bring these different feelings into my awareness, which of course gives such gives such a mu gives us a much better chance of dealing with these feelings and not repressing them, pushing them away, and acting them out in our relationships. So my friend, thank you so much again if you're listening. Uh, she really showed an act of love towards me, which had truly a healing effect because I felt validated in my feelings. I didn't feel judged. I understood myself even better. And she respected and loved me in this communication. And these two steps, sort of listening to my own heart, speaking with a friend, and my friend being able to listen warmly and very deeply and sensitively, then allowed me to be feeling vulnerable, feeling open-hearted again, not angry and closed. And just that changed my stance towards my daughter. I didn't even have to speak with her, but I noticed she wasn't as angry, she wasn't as defensive, we weren't battling anymore. And at some point, once I'd kind of almost come towards the end of this process, I did speak to her about it. And I said, look, I've been quite angry and maybe sometimes uh, unreasonable. And I'm really sorry if I hurt you. That's not my intention, but it's sometimes hard. And she kind of that brings tears into my eyes because she is very loving. She was very understanding. She was very receptive. And she said, Mum, I apologize too. I know I'm a pain sometimes and so angry and my hormones are all over the place and so are my feelings. And I'm glad we are good again. So this is kind of a little summary about listening as an act of healing towards our own heart, towards each other. And how wonderful that can be if it goes well. I hope you find this helpful and maybe it will inspire you to cultivate listening, the act of listening as a loving gesture and as a healing power in your life, in your relationships with your children, with your partners, with your parents, with your friends. 
and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.